YouTube, in this video, you will see me do something incredibly amazing or incredibly stupid. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to KDJ TV and another edition of How to Pitch with Pitcher's Name. Today, we are using Lord Thickness, as some of the people on the internet like to call him. It's Lance Lynn's turn to, uh, to get the education, to drop the knowledge. How to Pitch with Lance Lynn? I got you. The potential mistake here, however, is that we're doing this on Legend. And now, I do think Lance Lynn, as a pitcher, is probably best suited for Legend. But me, KDJTV, as a hitter, is, is not suited for Legend. Thankfully, in this series, you don't have to watch my hitting. You don't have to watch me strike out 69 times in this game. Hopefully we win. Hopefully Lance Lynn pitches well. However, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a close game. If you guys like this series, let me know who you want to see in the comments down below. We're getting a ton of new content tomorrow on Friday, so probably a bunch of new pitchers to use. If any of them pop up that you want to see me try and I can give you guys some pointers on how to use them, now's a good time. Get the new content in this series. It's going to be a lot of fun. So here is our Thick King. Three Cs, maybe even four. Thick. Lance Lynn. Interesting card. Definitely the best Lance Lynn we've ever gotten. Uh, that's not going to be the first time I say that this year with a lot of cards because of the way content is. But if you look at this card, we'll start with the pitch mix. He's got the pitches you like. Four seam, cutter, sinker, circle change. Curveball's a little iffy. Prefer a slider or even a slurve. But in real life, he does throw a curveball. So this, this card is pretty accurate in that respect. I love the velo difference between the four seamer and the cutter. And then also the sinker and the cutter. Those are all great tunnels. That circle change is also a pretty good uh, differential there. The curveball, we got to bounce. We got to be careful with the curveball, especially on Legend. That's where people are going to bang it. However, he has the stuff to be successful, in my opinion. The bread and butter with Lance Lynn, and that's why he's so good on Legend, I think. I'm recording this part before doing the video. Look at his control. He's going to put the ball pretty much where you need him to. And with the way pinpoint works and the way pitching works in general, it's hard to come by this time. So... I'm a big fan of his controls. His breaks, I'd probably give him like a solid B on his breaks. Some are better than others. The cutter obviously being better than the sinker and the circle change. But you look at his attributes, and he screams like excellent pitcher. 114 hits per nine for Lance Lynn is really good. 100K per nine, that's all right. 104 BB per, ni BB per nine, excuse me, coupled with 91 control, he's going to spot the ball where you want. 83 velo on legend velo. Uh, is important, but also not a killer because the pitches are already moving as fast as they're moving anyway. 102 stamina probably means he's a good seven inning guy. Keep him around like 90 or so pitches. You got to check how his energy bar is doing. But hey, I am excited to try Lance Lynn. I have no idea how this game's going to go. For me to win, it's going to have to be a one nothing game. So uh, pray for me. Okay, Lance Lynn is locked in. We got an opponent. We are playing Uncle Vinny. He's got the Mark Pryor boost. Interesting. And the Carl said, all right, interesting. I haven't played really any boosted captain teams on uh, on ranked seasons because captains aren't used a ton of them. So we'll have to see how this goes. I'm excited. Uncle Vinny is 34 and 10. I'm 33 and 11. This should be a pretty even match. All right, and we're pitching first. So here we go. The key with Lance Lynn is tunneling, right? We've established that. So let's see our opponent's tendencies on swinging at this cutter away. He rolled it right over. We got a diamond defender in match Chapman. We like weak contact. You guys know that a lot. That cutter away needs to get that. It did on that pitch. We'll see if he keeps doing it. Can we stretch it a little below the zone now? Let's try this sinker. That's a very good take. Good eyes by my opponent. We're going with the circle change away. Missed my spot. Not a great pinpoint um, input there. Give me this cutter inside. Strike one. He hit a spot. Love it. Go back here with the sinker. A little mini tunnel. Okay, was he early on that? Let's see. He is early on that. So, we're going to slow him down even more with the circle change. All right, good swing. Luis Arai is a good hitter. So, what did we learn there? Our opponent's going to spit on some pretty close pitches. Means we just got to be careful. Uh, he also, that's a high contact hitter. It's a good swing, line drive single. Not going to hurt us. Derek Jeter. Let's see if we can jam him. He's just going to take it. Okay. He's scouting out what's coming. Um, I want to go to this curveball, low and away below the zone. Oh, he almost bit on it, but that actually hit my spot very well. I'm happy with that pitch. I'm going to go back to the sinker now. He's late. Outside cutter. Spit on it. Really good eye. All right, my opponent's good. This is going to be a fun game. Let's see if we can get him on this low and in cutter. 
Oh, way early. I think he was waiting for that. But that hit my spot. It's a good pitch. Maybe we get a roll over on this circle. Oh, my God. Terrible pitch. Oh, he swung. I don't know what happened there. Bad pitch. That could have been a double play. Sinker below. All right. He really misses below the zone. Bad. I need him to miss less. Go back to the sinker. Up and in this time. Oh, I don't know how he hit that on the ground, but I will take the double play. Listen, we're going to have to get bailed on legend if we did. Let's go see if I can even get a base runner. I mean, you won't watch it. I'll come back and tell you, but hopefully I can do it. Let me tell you something. Legend is fast. PCIs are small. So I struck out one time and I actually laced the ball twice. So we'll see what happens. Uh, but Dustin May is going to be tough. Back to pitching. Cutter inside. Good eye. All right. My opponent is not going to nibble. Or he, I'm going to nibble. My opponent's not going to bite at it. So we got to try to stay in the zone. I don't know why we missed with that. Let's go sinker inside. A little front door action on the ground. I accidentally threw it to second, but I'm alive. I didn't mean to do that. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be a, a little glitchy, uh, uh, trolly opponent. I'm sorry. I'm afraid he's sitting on this cutter, but we got to be careful here. Okay, warps. That actually probably saved me. I have a feeling eventually my opponent's going to sit on that outside cutter. Because it worked so well the first pitch. God, he doesn't swing. Uh, that's the, a lot of legend opponents know to take pitches. I should probably get better at doing that. So on legend, we're going to have to stay in or close to the zone. We got the strike there. Now let's tunnel the cutter off of the fastball. I don't know how he spit on that, but he did. Sinker away. He's probably thinking inside. Nice. And he's too late on it. Now I will go inside. And if he turns and burns, he turns and burns. He took it. Wow. All right. Good at bat. My opponent doesn't swing outside the zone, so it's going to be a challenge. And that's fine. Sinker away. Lancelin. Uh, not Lancelin. I'm sorry. Carlos Santana has an early swing tendency. Like, he just happens to swing in front of a lot. So I'm hoping to get a ground ball here. I'm throwing pitches that... That warped a little bit. Throwing pitches that will tend to be rolled over. God, I, I mean, I don't know why I'm missing so much. There we go. I also think legend pitching is harder, and I have not pitched on legend yet. Let's let's get weird with this. And he got a hit. All right, first and second. That was a bad pitch. First and second, one out. I need a ball on the ground. My opponent is good, which is scary, and I don't appreciate it. Matt Chapman, new card. Fast swing as well. Strike one. We cannot throw that cutter away every first pitch to a righty. We're going to have to eventually do something different. Because that's how we get stuck in tendencies that our opponents can pick up on. Dude, pitching a legend is hard. There we go. He's late on it. I am going to test something I doubt's going to work, but maybe he'll expand up. Nope. Worth a try. I mean, this pitch has largely worked. There we go. That's an out. The sinker inside on Legend is incredibly tough, no matter if you have velocity or not. Just the way sinkers move, it's tough to turn on. We can't be reliant on it, but we're going to use it if we need to. God, James Outman is scary. He has a really nice swing. Uh, cutter. That was a bang zone pitch. That was dangerous. That was dangerous. We play off the cutter moving the other direction now. Love that. Let's see if we can get a weak rounder, maybe a pop-up. Oh, what a good pitch! We learned a lot that inning. It didn't bite us, but our opponent's going to be patient, and he's, he's going to make us work. So we just got to stay focused, locked in on every pitch. Let me see if I can get some traffic on the bases. Well, we just struck out three times. I'm telling Legend is difficult, and I haven't played it all this year, and I truthfully don't really like it. I'm recording this video for you guys. So we're going to go back to work on the mound. One thing I noticed my opponent, what he does pitching, is he throws strikes. So we just got to hit them. Fastball low and away. Love that pitch there, and he's late on it. Let's see if we can get him to expand with two strikes. Nah, it's not a competitive pitch. He hasn't seen the changeup low and away yet, and remember, we have to vary what we're throwing. Beautiful pitch. He thought it was a cutter. It was actually a pretty decent tunnel. We have to vary our deliveries and our offerings because these opponents are going to be better, and they're going to pick up on tendencies faster. So we just got to be smart. First pitch, we threw him a cutter away last time. Here's a sinker away. Perfect spot. It actually missed a little bit from where I wanted it, but it was still good. Now we try this cutter. 
too low. Back to the sinker. I'm trying to I'm trying to play that tunnel. What a pitch. All right. We have two strikes now. I'm going to go sinker up and in. He's seen everything away. It missed because it wasn't up enough, but it was inside. And as we said, it's hard to turn on sinkers. Um, it wasn't executed perfectly, but the thought process was there. That's all that matters. Man, we're 46 pitches with two outs in the third. This guy is working me. He'll go cut her away. That's a ball. Missed. That's not good. Sinker, low and away. He hits very well with a rise. That was a good swing, but Tatis is there. That was actually a pretty economical inning, all things considered. Uh, we're still scoreless. That's good. The bad news is, I'm swinging like crap. Pray for me. Guess who didn't get a base runner again? It's okay. Our focus is limiting his base runners. I will get one eventually, maybe. Roll over. That warped right back to the middle of the plate for a home run. I don't know why it did that. We're down one nothing, and that might as well be the game. But we're going to keep shoving. That pitch was not Lance Lynn's fault. That was the stupid game we played. I, it's right down the middle, and I don't know why. Cutter inside. Good pitch. Ah, man, that's really unfortunate. Every run in Legend is literally the difference in the game if you're a lower Legend tier player, which... I guess that's what you'd consider me. Um, so this is this is bad. This is bad, but we'll get through it. Sinker inside. This nice pitch. This is about learning how to pitch with Lance Lynn, not hit with everybody on my team. Um, I'm liking what's happening with the outs this inning. He's swinging early in the count at pitches I want him to swing at. We haven't used the four seamer a lot. Let's see if we can go the four seamer in at the knees. A little too far in. Change up, please don't float. That's ball two. Wow. Just no control, huh? He's supposed to have a ton of it. Sinker, low and away. He was way on top of that. Oh, boy. So if he's on top of that, we'll go cutter even slower in that same spot. And I don't know why he hit that as well. It was a good swing. That was a fantastic swing. Uh, that was a really good swing. I don't know. All right, so let me walk you through my thought process there. If he's early, what is this view? If he's early on the sinker in the same spot, we throw something slower, he should have been early as well. But perfect, perfect. We're down two. We're down two. We're going to stay away from Matt Chapman. Now we're going to go inside to Matt Chapman. Okay. One ball. Let's see if maybe we get him to bite at the hook because we haven't thrown it a ton. That warps back to the middle of the plate, too. Why are my pitches warping at the least opportune times? I'm pretty sure I was a perfect release on that, or darn close. That's very annoying. Very annoying. If we limit him to that single there, we can live with it. But it's very, very frustrating. That's a bad pitch. But a great spot, and that's where I wanted it to go. Shockingly, it was the worst input and the best spot. Cutter at the peepee -pee hole. Hey, this guy's eye is incredible. Tunnel. Good pitch. He was early on that, too. Um, very frustrating inning. One home run was not our fault. The other one was a fantastic swing. Uh, but we're going to figure this out. We have no choice. Lance Lynn is a good pitcher. I'm sure of it, and I will prove it to you. I got a hit, but then I grounded into a double play. But this will not be a perfect game today. Let us go pitch. Let's see if we can put this sinker a little higher. What happened to my pinpoint there? Still a good spot. A little off, but not a bad spot. Four-seamer up and away. That came right back to the middle of the plate. However, he didn't hit it squarely, so we got the out. Sometimes we'll get lucky. Uh, I'm trying to vary eye levels and, and places I'm putting pitches to my opponent. Because as, we, as we've established, excuse me, he's good. And that's fine. Circle change low and into a righty we haven't thrown yet. And it missed its spot entirely. Love pinpoint. Thanks. It's the best way to pitch. Stay low, but go away. He rolled it over still, even though he waited for it. And Jeter's got a nice, strong arm. Love that. Two quick outs. Arise has hit the ball well both times. Once was an out. Sinker inside. Perfect spot. Oh, my God. That was a sexual spot. I want to keep this cutter on the plate, but I want it low. And it went off the plate. 
Circle change in. It's frozen him once or twice. Missed entirely. Great spot. I don't know what's wrong with me. Sinker. Middle of the plate, but away. Nice. Nice. He chased. I'm going to take a risk here and see if we can plant the four-seamer. Oh, God, how stone-cold take. Oh, that was a good pitch. I like that pitch. Circle change away. I just blatantly missed. Pitching on Legend is different, certainly. Uh, all right, so that's a walk. Two-out walk. Not good. Let's get out of it. We did. All right, good pitch. He hasn't proven that he can turn on that sinker inside to righties yet. I'm still trying to be careful with it because if he starts sitting, he's going to hit it. There are your pitch placement. All right, let's go hit, please. Please. Chat, I loaded the bases and then lined out to center field. So I am a tad upset. However, pressure was put. It's time to pitch. Cutter inside. This got him out last time. Warped right back to the middle of the plate. Love it. Glad he missed. Sinker. Oh, I can't believe I didn't score. No. Inside. We got to work on tunneling. That cutter sinker needs to be effective. My opponent is very good. Oh my god, he thought that was coming. So I wonder now if he's early with that swing. If we put this away, maybe he rolls it over. Nope. Or he just downright stares at it, because his peepers are great. Circle change, don't miss your spot this time. Good pitch! That's, it finally went where I wanted it to go, and it did exactly what I wanted it to do. Oh boy, success is good. Cutter, because we started to throw a lot of sinkers inside to righties now. And it worked. Beautiful! Roll over! It's almost like I know how to pitch. Sometimes. That one inning is going to continue to haunt me, but let's, let's figure this out now. Let's go back to the circle change and put it where we want. Not even oh, no. remotely close. Thank you, pinpoint. That was a bad, bad pitch on my part. Cutter. That's missed entirely. I hate it here. Starting to become frustrated. Circle change. Good pitch. Late on it. Okay, Good now boy. we have to be careful, because if he's late on that, I'm confused as to what's going on. Dude, he's three for three with Carlos Santana. Bad throw, but he's not running anyway. Wow, he's three for three with Carlos Santana. Okay, we got to be careful to him. I've been pretty okay against the rest of his lineup. Chapman, I want to test gauge his sinker here. Okay, he's sitting sinker just early. So we go back to the cutter. Bad pitch. Terrible pitch. We need to have a play at the plate here. Come on, Griff. I mean, he might be out. Nope, he scored because I had bad throws. Uh, that's unfortunate. Two out run is not good, especially with how well I was pitching that inning. What did we do wrong? I would have put the cutter probably a little more off the plate. But now we're now we're down three. That was a good swing. Nice pitch. Show him a cutter up. We haven't really done that yet. I mean that's an incredible take. I don't. I incredible take. Tunnel it. Got him. Uh, an unfortunate two-out run scored there. A dribbler by Santana down the line. Wasn't great contact, but it was still a decent enough swing, and then the Chapman pitch did not go my way. So now we're down three. We have to put pressure on, on offense. We'll get one more inning out of Lance Lynn, probably. I hit a double, but that's it. Still down three. Last inning of work for Lance Lynn. He's at 90 pitches and still in the green. Cut her in. So at this point, I mean, he's given me a solid start. It's just I can't hit. So, I would still grade this, at least for now, as a success. We got a pretty deep fly out there, but it isn't out, so it's like it never happened. Uh, one out in the seventh. Listen, he's been good. His control is, is pretty good. Legend pitching is different. His pitches move pretty well. He's not deceptive, but he's got enough velo, I think, on Hall of Fame Legend to work. Oh, he ambushed that pitch. No, he's very late. Okay. It looked like he was earlier. I'm going to try it one more time. And, you know, and my opponent's good. He doesn't swing at balls. And, unfortunately, using Lance Lynn, you do need your opponent to chase a little bit. You're going to rely on weak contact. So, you got to pitch around it and make it work. Nice pitch. He was under that. We have two away here in the seventh for Lance Lynn. Notice what I did there. We went hard inside, hard inside, and then softer away. Got a weak pop-up. Luis Arise. He has a single. Let's see if we can get him early on the changeup. He was early, but he actually barreled it well. Uh, not a big deal. Now we go harder up and away. 
Opposite corner, different speed, right down the middle. What's going to happen here as it's frozen? Is this a home run? Nice. I don't know what happened there. So now four runs through seven. Uh, I don't know what happened there. It went right to the middle of the plate. All right, we got three outs. Listen, four runs through seven innings. One home run on that floated changeup that warped. Uh, I don't blame myself for that. I still think that was the right pitch call if it had hit his spot. I don't know what just happened there. Um, I'm comfortable with Lance Lynn. The problem is I'm not hitting. That's not Lance Lynn's fault. Let's get the bullpen up. Let's go see if we can scrape a runner, yeah. runner two across. All right, we're down 4 nothing. I've accepted that I am losing this game, but Lance Lynn's day is done. Let's use two of the new pitchers that came out in the monthly awards program. Let's use, I'm going to butcher his first name, Yen, Yenier, Yenye Kano. I kind of like Kano. He's got a hard sinker with outlier. He's got a little bit different of a delivery, and he got a slider. So let's give him a shot. Absolute dot. Oh, my God. That was a great pitch. That felt really nice. Sinker up and away. Or right down the middle. Back to this changeup. Actually, a little off the plate, if possible. Or right on it. He was early, though, yes? I'm going to throw it again, but lower. That's a ball. Why would I expect my opponent to chase? He hasn't done it the whole game. Let's get weird. Slider up and in. Oh, late swing. Because he fought it off. That was a great pitch, actually. Sink her up and in, get him looking. I don't know how you build an eye like this. I, I'd like my opponent to teach me. Nice pitch. And we got a... He actually, he expanded the zone. Can you believe it? We got an out. Sink her low and away. Because I, I, I have a feeling he's going to be trying to turn and burn on that sinker inside. Sliders are very difficult to hit on Legend when they're in the strike zone, of course. So we're not going to throw it again. Ball. Now we're going to try. Ball, that's Dude, just he does not bite. Hey. Now do we try it up and in? Helpful. Let's do it. Let's take the risk. Ah, he got a squibby single. We run that risk on those sinkers inside. Honestly, he hasn't burned us on one of them yet. So, unfortunate. We did get a ground ball. Seeing eye single, it is what it is. But, I mean, that was a great pitch. I would throw it again. We have to, Carlos Santana, this guy's a killer with him. I would love a double play. I don't think I'm getting one, but I'd love one. So let's try to get one. Push, punch into the ground. Nope. One ball. Punch it into the ground. Or a strike. We got Carlos Santana out. We stayed low, but we changed speeds. All right, Chapman, because he doesn't turn, is getting a steady diet of these inside. Inside, ball one. I am going to throw it a second time. Full well knowing what's about to happen. Oh, okay, we got it. Four seamer low and away. Good pitch. Where was he? Let me see that swing. Plate. Hmm. I don't want to speed his bat up, but I'm actually going to see if maybe he'll think this is a tunnel. Good pitch. No. Nope. Not think it's a tunnel, but try to tunnel. You know what I mean. Let's just dot this. Full count. <sighs> I mean, when your opponent has a good eye, it's so hard to pitch. Especially with the way pinpoint is. I did nothing wrong on that release, it, and it missed. It's kind of unfortunate. Slider. There we go. Good inning by Cano. Um, can we try to hit? Do you think I should? I'll try. Just for you guys. Chat, something crazy just happened. I just scored three runs. Suddenly, it's a ball game. I'm down 4-3 in the ninth. Jose Alvarado, come on down. We're going to see how this goes. He's a new pitcher. He's got good stuff. He throws real hard. Sometimes we don't know where the ball's going, so we're going to do our best. James Altman's got three strikeouts. I imagine he's going to take him out here, but I'm not 100% sure. We'll have to see. He has taken him out for Jorge Mateo. Start with this cutter because it moves a ton. And it got oh, the result. I want he's early on it. Oh, sinker away now. That's a great pitch. I mean, it's exactly where I want it to. Go back to the cutter, but raise it up a little bit. We're working out, in, out, in. Tatis got a bad jump. I need it. He wasn't getting there anyway, but I dove on accident. So that's unfortunate. Maybe we'll get him to chase on this curve. 
Bad fish. Uh, that's a really that's a really unfortunate dive on accident that I did. I hit the right stick. Get him looking. All right, we're fine. It's like it never happened. We had to throw a couple extra pitches, but we got the pop out. Uh, Jose Alvarado's stuff is nasty, especially on Legend. The key will be putting it where we need the to put it. And that's hard. Jonah. I'm going to sink her up and away. Good pitch. Um, he's going to be looking inside now because we hit him inside real hard in that first at-bat. Four-seamer away. Is he early on that? Oh, he's no late. Ball. I don't know why I keep thinking he's early. See if we can get him to chase inside, real inside. Oh, he almost did. That was a good pitch. Up and in, four-seamer, pray. Missed it. Do we dare? I'm going to dare. Dare to dream. Dare to be different. What a pitch! I think he was early on it. Yep. Yeah. Oh, no, he's just late. Again, I, I keep speaking out of my ass. But the swing timing on screen doesn't look like it's, uh, you know, correlating to the box. We just threw a really bad sinker and he was late on it, so we're going to go something faster. Just late. Maybe we can kiss a corner here. Ball one. Missed. Perfect input. Give me this cutter. Give me this swing. He did, but it was foul. This card is hurt by no changeup. It would make this card literally lethally elite if he had a changeup, but he doesn't, so there's nothing we can do about it. Um, he's going to think it's a four-seamer. We'll get him to swing on a cutter. He swung. He hammered it, though. Foul ball. Trey Turner is going to be a tough out here. He's 0 for 4. Maybe we'll chase this, beat it into the ground. Or just not get it close. 3-2. Is he expecting a 12-6? I sure as shit wouldn't be. It's a ball. <laughs> it was worth the risk. It was worth the risk. Now, Alvarado's gross against lefties because that cutter moves away from him and that sinker is going to pound you inside. So I'm going to start with the sinker. Perfect. I think he actually turned on it well, but it was it was too high. So we are down 4-3. To the ninth! Bottom of the ninth. If I walk it off, I'll cut to the clip. Otherwise, I'll see you at the end of the game, looking at the box score, going over Lance Lynn. Oh my god, I hit a homer to tie it! It's four to four! Free baseball? Walk off home run? Who's to say? Find out next week on Dragon Ball. Find out in 30 seconds. Okay. So, Alvarado's not pitching to Jeter. I'm gonna go to Shohei. I just hit the homer to tie it off Shohei, but we're going to do Shohei as well. Jeter up right now is not good for me because he has max clutch with a runner on second in the extra inning. But we're going to go cutter away. Oh, love that. Splitter, maybe we get a swing, ground ball. Nope. I mean, that's clearly a strike that they call the ball, so thank you, Ramon. Cutter away. That's unfortunate, too. Slider. And he hit the single on that, really? I mean, I'm a little upset that we didn't get the strike call. It wouldn't have affected that single, I guess, but still not great. Now we gotta, we gotta, we gotta get out of this. Uh, four seamer in. Good pitch. Strikeout would be massive. Cutter in. Got it. Oh, two is the count. Just nick the corner here. Come on. That was such a good pitch. I would throw that again. Such a good pitch. Four seamer looking strikeout would be huge. Missed the spot. Two, two the count. Come on. Stop missing your spots. Show, hey, come on, buddy. Get him in front. That's huge. Okay, we're going to go to the cutoff. It would have helped if he got the running start that he didn't get. We're down one. I don't know why he did not crow hop into it. I guess I was too far behind it. That's really oh, unfortunate. <laughs> oh, this game giveth and taketh. Okay. If we can get out of this down one, we can keep fighting. Nice pitch. Notice that we got him out in front of that cutter away. Shohei's cutter away is very good in this game. If you can spot it. Carlos Santana, the killer. Let's go slider in. Something different. That's a ball. That's such a good pitch, man. Split her away. And we are down three. I mean, this guy is the best Carlos Santana hitter I've ever faced. He, I think he was incredibly early on that, too. 
just early? It... <clears throat> All right. It is what it is. Got a hit. Cut her away. Now he's thinking slow. Let's speed him up. Missed the spot. Griffey's going to get there, though. All right. A little demoralizing of an inning there because some things happened that we probably... I don't know if prevented is the right word. Probably shouldn't have happened. But let's keep being clutch. We've been clutch these last few innings. Let's do it again. Well, chat, we lose the game. I don't know how anybody plays legend. It's not fun. But let's talk about the matter at hand. Other than Carlos Santana being the best player I've ever played against, this wasn't a terrible game. We had that pitch warp for a home run very early. We had that weird, f not freeze, but like delay leg communication error home run for Luis Arise. The splitter I threw to Santana in the 10th maybe was not the smartest pitch to throw. That was with Shohei. Let's talk about Lance Lynn. Seven innings, eight hits, four runs, two walks, five strikeouts. I still think Lance Lynn is good. I think he's worth using on Legend. It was a little unfortunate that we had some borderline calls miss. And like I said, my opponent was a good hitter. He did not swing outside the zone. And unfortunately, sometimes with some of these pitchers, you kind of have to rely on that a little bit. So overall, Lance Lynn is a good pitcher. If you play on Legend, I do suggest you give him a try. If you play on lower difficulties, I don't think he's the pitcher for you. But that'll do it for this video. It's an unfortunate loss, but it is Legend. And I actually think I started to play better on Legend in the later innings. So we'll get better, maybe, question mark. We're back on Hall of Fame now. But if you like this video, make sure you like it, subscribe, comment down below what you thought of the video and what pitchers you want to see. Thank you guys for watching. See you next time.